know if y'all can read that. I'm trying to put it in y'all face, but pink shower curtain today. That's what we doing. I had posted an old, uh, old clip on Instagram when I had uh, did some shower curtains in my bathroom. I had did a whole bathroom set. So everybody was asking, how did I do them? Um, did I heat press them? Did I sticker them? What did I do? So I'm going to show y'all both ways that I can do them, but I'm only going to do it one way. I explained the other way that I can do it, which is simple. Like I said, it just depends on the actual material of the shower curtain. But yeah, we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to open these up and take them in the photo room and lay it out so we can go and knock these out right quick. I'm going to show y'all what we're going to put on them. And yeah, we're going to bring it to life. That's what it is, man. Pink shower curtain. These right here are... 70 by 72 inch and they come with the curtain hooks and say water repellent that's all they really say they came off amazon i think a long time ago and i just never got around to doing so yeah we're gonna jump into it i ain't gonna keep talking too long we're using for the first method white sign vinyl man so we're using white decal some people call it uh if you know the, the main brand i think it's oracle but this is not oracle i get this from my local print shop so we're using white glossy sign vinyl for these uh pink ones right here and this method this one method so we're gonna jump right into it and then when i get to showing y'all this i'll explain the other method that we can do it on too man but yeah i had had to knock this little chick-fil-a fruit cup out right quick <laughs> all right y'all so i gotta lay it out and this whole time i'm thinking it's all pink but man it's like a gradient so it's pink at the bottom and it get lighter and go white at the top so now i'm really kind of confused on how i want to do it and that's not Nothing that's on it. That's under. That's a hole in the backdrop. And I got the black drop down on here, too. I got to go in and rip this on up. But I ain't really tripping on that right now. <laughs> so I'm going to have to uh, I'm gonna have to have use my Teflon sheet and cover this up and iron some of these creases out. And probably wait about 30 minutes to an hour before I actually film it. Because I need those lines out. I don't. I mean, I can make it work, but I'd rather make it easy on myself. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. But this is the size. It's like a standard size for most bathroom, man. Yeah, man, like I said, it's gradient, so I was originally just going to go white logo in the middle, but now I'm not even sure how I should do it. I got to show y'all the logo, but I don't, it's like a three-word logo that's stacked, so I don't know if I should go the first word, pink, and then white, and white, or what, but we're going to see how I can finesse it. i probably just stick to the white, or I'm going to go pink. If the pink is dark enough, I'm going to go pink on pink, and that way it still look cool. But yeah, this, this is actually dope. I thought it was all pink. Yeah, let me show y'all the logo that we doing. And then I'm going to come back and try to get some of these creases out of here. Let me rip this off. Too. All right, so this is the logo we running, right? It's a three-word logo, like I said, and it's stacked. Just three words on top. So that's what I was saying. I got to see how I'm going to do it. I mean, I can easily go all white, like I showed y'all in the beginning. Or I got this pink over here. Let me grab it. Hold on. But I don't have enough of it, so I have to wait till tomorrow to get this pink. But I got this pink right here, too, that I can do. So I can either go one word pink at the top, so I can do the pretty pink and then white and white. Or I can just do all white or all pink, but I just ain't made up my mind yet. I'm thinking I'm just going to hit her and ask her and see what she say. She might say all white, but um, I know the white will be clean on there. We're going to figure it out, man. I got to see how I'm going to do it. But, yeah, that's the logo we ran it. So, that's what's going on the shower curtains. And, yeah, I'm going to show you all how I bring it to life using sign vinyl. All right. So, since I don't have a big roll of white vinyl this time and I'm using my little 12-inch roll versus a 24-inch wide, I'm going to cut out each one one by one. And, hopefully, I can make this white be enough vinyl because this, this is kind of long. And this, uh, this is not even a big roll of vinyl. But, we're going to see how it work out, though. Hopefully, it come out good. And, of course, since this decal vinyl or sign vinyl or sticker vinyl whatever you want to call it you want to make sure it's not mirrored so that it come out straight uh how it shows on the screen so so far i already got it good i'm gonna go ahead and cut it but i think i need to take my blade out a little bit before i do something just went crazy. cut out the next word pretty <laughs>
Okay, so this is the design right here, of course. And of course, this would be over some more. This ain't gonna lay up here. The table ain't that big, y'all know that. But this is the design, pretty with motion. As y'all can see on the uh, eye right here, it cut it off, because I didn't realize it was going off the edge a little bit. So I gotta cut out this dot or whatever that go above the eye one more time. But I got plenty of extra vinyl. I ended up with a lot of little scraps, so I got all this left. And I still had a little bit left on the road. So I had more than enough, it worked out. So yeah, I just gotta fix that eye, then we good to go. We can go ahead and take it in there and try to transfer it and see how it come out. It's gonna be good, though. I already know that. I know she gonna like it too. Using some scrap transfer vinyl. I mean, transfer tape, y'all. Don't be, don't be judging me, man. Y'all know I like to say. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna need one little square. Yeah, okay, cool. We good to go, though. We gonna, we gonna run it with this, though. Go on and put this on on here. Matter of fact, let me do this. I'm gonna hit this middle first. you used to doing decal, then you already know how we go on with this. Simple, it's really simple. Only thing about it is getting it to stick, because a lot of this decal by gonna be that sticky depending on what material. And the shower curtain material really ain't good for making it stick instantly. So really, the longer it sit on there, the more it stick. Like now that I have mine up for so long, it's just on there and it don't come up. But that's why I said I'm gonna tell y'all about the other method too once I get it on there. How I would have done it when I put this on there. But for the most part though, this cool and it lasts. And with this part, you just want to go on and get as many of the bubbles out if there's any bubbles in it at all. So you want to smooth this perfectly out. And try to get a one. Good though. You can hit a bubble popping on this tape. It's only a couple. Alright now. That middle first. That way I ain't gotta worry about this little middle part messing me up. And then this part where it got a little crease at. Put that crease at the top. That way I can cut that off because I had that tape folded, so it got a little crease in it. But y'all know I'm finesse God. I'm always finding a way without having to go buy nothing else. See this big enough? Nope. This is though. Nope. I know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do that like that. Crazy how I gotta finesse this. Only because the period <laughs> at the bottom. But I got a trick for that though. Put that right down the edge like that. Clip this little part right here thin. Gotta finesse it sometime. I'm just gonna put that on the bottom because I don't want it to be messing up. And this the longest word. So once I get the motion on there, the rest gonna be easy. It's gonna be a cakewalk at that point. We good though. So this is how it's gonna go. And on video, it may look I gotta slid up closer to the top, way further to the top, but it's really not as far to the top as it looks. So this is how it's going to be basically stacked in the middle. I ain't got the position in perfect how I want it yet. I probably slide it down just a little bit just so that pink, I mean, that white at the top, that pretty will be a little closer to the pink. But yeah, that's how it's going to look. That's how it's going to go. And like I said, I just got to fix that. I, I'll take that off and put that on and add that afterwards. But yeah, that's actually a good size. I can really slide it over to the left just a little bit. But like I said, I got to get these little creases out of here. So once I get the creases out of here, then we good to go. And then, yeah, that's what it's going to be, man. We're going to knock it on out. Shower curtains on the way. All right, y'all. So I forgot to mention, well, in my room, I need it. Everybody might not need it. Depending on what you're going to lay yours on. If you're laying it on the hard floor, then you won't need this. But since I'm not, and I got, like, a carpet in here that's up under this backdrop, 
it's not super hard where I can just smooth this out without it moving around and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this poster board. I bought like a trifold poster board for Dollar Tree. That I, I keep, honestly, I just keep a bunch of these laying around for stuff like this. Like when I got to get on the floor or something. So I'm going to slide this up under here and put it up under the area where I got to smooth it out using the, uh, what you call it, the squeegee. So that way it can go on there easy and not like dip in with the carpet. You know, like I said, depending on where you're doing it, you might not need it, but I need it. So I got to slide up under. I'm just showing you just in case you do. I'm gonna slide it up under the logo so it can be kind of like hard, hard and like if it was sitting on the table. But yeah, we good now. That's it. Okay. All right. So now, now that we got that out of the way, I can show y'all what I was talking about. You can basically see what the poster board is sitting up under there, right here, to make it hard so I can um squeegee it on with the little squeegee like this or whatever. You know, gotta have some hard on that. So yeah, we got that next. I did a little test with the iron. I ain't wanna mess nothing up, but. It worked, so I'm going to hit the iron out these little lines. I use the Teflon sheet over it, and that smooth it out. So if you buy one of these, most likely they're going to come folded. So you're going to have to do this. Honestly, it make it easy. You don't have to. I mean, if you want to try to go against the grain and just do it without it, you can. But me personally, I tried this, and it worked. So, you know, I'm just going to go on and get these lines out of here, and then we good. So y'all yeah, see how I done ironed it. I, um, I done knocked all them lines out right there, basically in the part where I know I'm about to put it. I could have hit the whole thing, but it, it was getting wild and it was sliding around and stuff. So I ain't want to get it dirty, but yeah, I already got all the little creases out right up in this area where I mainly got to put it. So we good to go. And then I'm finna show y'all how I put it on there. Well, I mean, at this point y'all know how I put it on there. I transfer it with the uh, transfer tape. So I'm gonna lift the tape up and lay it on there and smooth it on there. And I just gotta peel the tape back now. But this tape is kind of strong, so I have to peel it back kind of slow or whatever. But other than that, that's how I put it on there now. Being that this material is like a satin kind of material, you can actually print vinyl on this. So if you, the easier way would be able to, uh, would to be to just cut out vinyl, like regular t-shirt vinyl or whatever, heat transfer vinyl, and then iron it on like this, and then you can take it in there and press it with the heat press. And then if you got a bigger press, then it's going to be a little easier for you. But yeah, for the most part, that's how I would do it if I wanted to do it quicker than this. I just didn't have that much heat transfer vinyl to do this. So yeah, I, like I said, take the heat transfer vinyl the same way you cut it out as a shirt. It would be mirrored, of course, not like how I cut this out. And then just put it on there like you would put it on the shirt. Iron it on and go back in there and press over it all. And it'll last longer with that method, honestly. But honestly, ain't nobody going to be touching your shotgun, so it's going to last forever anyway. I got some that done lasted three, four years. But yeah, we good. That's the main part on this. Like I said, I just got to fix the dot on the top of that eye. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer this first one. And another thing is you could hang it up. So like say, if I didn't have this on this wall right here, I can just put a thumbtack on each end in the middle and then hang it up and it would be a little easier to put it on and make sure it's on straight. But all these walls got something on it. And this wall right here, it's big enough, but I don't feel like moving these boxes and stuff. So I ain't going to do all that, but yeah, I could have did it on this side too, but man, it's cool. I'm going to do it the way I'm doing it right here. I'm good with it this way, but yeah, I was just throwing that in there. You can hang it up with the uh, by the curtain holes and then just uh, put it up on the wall and do it too and iron it on or transfer it on the same way. Either way, it's no wrong way. It's just how you prefer to do it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. And of course, if you was doing one logo that's solid, then you wouldn't have to do it three ver three rows at a time, of course. Like you could just put the whole thing on it with one big transfer. But for me, it's easier to do it this way. And the good thing about this is it don't stick instantly, so you can actually still move it around once you put it on it. But I want to make sure I got it centered correctly. So like that's cool, but I can, I can bring it up to the left a little bit more. See what I mean? It ain't gonna just stick. Like, and that's the best part about it. You can pull this and everything, move it around, 
and get it so you ain't gotta worry about nothing lumping up on you. Like now I can just do it just like this. Boom, boom, boom. But like I said, it'd be best to have one of those uh boards under it. But actually actually I don't even need the board no it is. I forgot it was I forgot how smooth it was once you get it on there. Dang, I ain't did nothing in a while, but yeah. It's hard. Then that way you can move it around and make sure you got it straight. That's the main part. As long as you got it straight, we good. Like now, let me see. See, that's a little cricket. I need to bring the motion up a little bit on this side. Make sure it's smooth though. You don't want the wrinkles looking crazy on your uh, shower curtain. <laughs> so now let's see if it's straight. I can't tell. I got to lift it up. Okay, so now it look like I can lift it up just a little bit to my eyes. I don't know which, if y'all see it, how I see it. But yeah, down on the right, like it's drooping down just a little bit. So I got it. I'm going to shift it just a little bit. I still look like it's drooping down. Damn, okay, I got it. That's it that time, that's money. That's money right there. Bet we're gonna go on around with that and then I can, the other part would be easy because once I got that one bottom on there, the rest easy to put on that straight. So we good now. Right, here we go. Good thing is this tape is broke down. <laughs> so it's gonna be easy for me to lift this up. Like I said, it ain't super sticky. The tape is more stickier than this is to this material. So you're gonna have to hold it down and once you get it lifted enough it's gonna easily go so right now boom i got that on there it's on there now it ain't gonna be hard i can just ease it down as long as you get the edges once you get the edges it, it pull right off and then after a while like i said it's gonna sit up once you put it up and they sit on there oh it's gonna stay on there you ain't gotta worry about it coming off at all that's one piece of my little tape Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do this right here. Nah, 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 no, I ain't. No, I ain't. Now, that's one. Come from the bottom with this one. I want to do like a pattern on one one time, but it's hard though. It's gonna be fine. And then like I said, that dot gonna come out, so I don't even need that to stick. Matter of fact, I do need to stick so I can know where to put it at though. And then I can I can take it right off while it's fresh before it get locked on there. That motion is on there already. That's it. So all I gotta do now is come back with the um the pretty whiff and it slid so it probably looked cricket but it's not the whole uh you see the the backdrop lifting up it slid over so i'm finna straighten it out and we're gonna go on and run through it y'all see i reused that same piece of tape i ain't even do no fresh tape or nothing right the reason I do that is because this tape's so strong. Like I said, I actually be wanting this to stick a little better. So I reuse the tape because once you use it the first time, it, it make the tape not as strong and the, uh, it's not as sticky. So I can lift this up a little easier. And by the time I get to the last one, it's gonna come right off. And then we done. All right, I got the width on here now. I'm gonna peel this up and we good to go. Let's see. Let's see, like it's already sticking better than that first one without me having to really touch it. Way is just to 
roll it down like this instead of trying to just pull it. You can just roll it down. It's the easy way to roll it. Bring the half of the tape. Y'all see I'm using this piece by piece tape, man. I done had to wing it because I didn't plan on doing it. This was random. I didn't plan on doing this right now. I would have just bought the big tape roll and had enough to just do it all at once. But this was not in the plan. My stuff just be random like this sometimes. Like, you know what? I got to show them this, though. Be organic. I don't be thinking about playing in a video. Like, I just, when I got something to do, I do it. Like, or when I think about doing something for somebody else, I'd be like, all right, this is something to record, too, at the same time. So that's that part. Pretty with motion coming to life. on here now. Once it's on there, like I said, you're good. You ain't gonna have to worry about it coming off at all or lifting up. And then depend that just depends on the vinyl you use. The vinyl you use could be stickier than mine and stick even better, but for what I use, this is how it works. So overall, y'all see the job is done. It's on there. That's what we were mainly trying to do. Everything's smooth, no bubbles. And like I said, I gotta just go cut out that dot and come back with that. So I can't even show y'all this. Well, I can show y'all this. <laughs> I ain't embarrassed to hear what it is. It ain't my fault. It's the vinyl cutter fault. Yeah, that's it. Pretty with motion. On the shower curtains. Straight, A1. And even if it ain't straight, I can always come back and fix it and um just remove it and put the new one on it. That's the beautiful part about this. Then after you get some on there, if you want to, you can layer it and all that. But I'm going to keep it simple. That's it for now. And yeah, that's how you put it together. I'm going to go get that little dot right quick. And then I might hang it up in my bathroom just to see. We'll see. I don't know yet. Okay, so I fixed the dot on top of the eye. Now it don't look all crazy. You can see the exact cut how it's supposed to be. And it's on that A1. And like I said, I need to go hang it up. But for the most part, I can tell it straight from here. Just from looking at it. I don't know what the camera really showing. But of course, it's all flipped, uh, wrinkled and stuff like that. But overall, it came out good, man. I just wanted to show you how y'all can do it. And like I said, the, the more permanent way would be to just cut it out like t-shirt vinyl and then heat press it on there but iron it on there first and then like i said you're gonna want to knock all the wrinkles out of it with the iron so if you got a bigger teflon sheet than me you'll be good but i don't know somebody might want to do shower curtain one day so i did it just to show y'all how i do mine and they last 